Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to KM Already Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. If you are new to the channel or if you just haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let's get on with the show. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Geocron. 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 Yes, that's right. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Geocron Atlas 4K, guys. I got to give a big shout out to Patrick and everyone at Geocron. Uh, Patrick sent this to me free of charge so we could take a look at it on the channel. Thank you so much. Now guys, the way I see it, if you want a Geocron, you've got one of two, maybe three options. The first, you can spend thousands and thousands of dollars on an actual mechanical Geocron, which Geocron does still make, or you could spend, I think these go for about 500 bucks on this Geocron Atlas, and this is packed full of features. It's not just a little gray line map. Sure, you can put one on a Raspberry Pi and get the gray line. If that's all you care about, knock yourself out. This has features galore, and we are gonna dive right into this. They update these features all the time, too, so uh, you're always getting updates, you're getting real-time information. There's so many features in this. I don't think I'll actually be able to cover them in one video, but let's try. So let's hop over onto my newly acquired monitor. I actually bought a new TV, a new 4K TV just for this thing, because this thing is freaking awesome. I've wanted one of these for years, and now I have one, and we can share it with you. So let's hop over, and I will show you everything that I can about this thing. <laughs> it is awesome, stay tuned. But before we do that, I guess I should show you the actual components. So everything comes in this little box. This is the actual Geocron unit itself. And you can see it measures approximately, oh, one and a third Bofangs tall. Uh, probably about a half a Bofang wide and approximately one Bofang thick there. So here's your Wi-Fi antenna and your power port. It also has a micro SD card port and a USB port, which the USB port you're gonna need for this little dongle that is used for the remote that comes with it. Everything is done off of this remote. Comes with a nice little quick start guide. Very, very simple to get set up. And here's your power cable. So this is the Geocron Atlas. Now I've got most of the layers turned off. It's just a very basic uh, kind of world map. And you can see the gray line there. And then here's the times. And then it breaks down vertically uh, the time zones here. So I'm an S right here. You can see it's about 10 o'clock. Uh, it's actually 11 o'clock uh, right now when I'm filming this. But there's so much going on. You've got your sun dial thing here. This is basically where the sun is in the sky. We just passed the summer solstice, so it's creeping over a little more to the right there. But there's so many features on here. You can see we've got a clock in uh, Central and UTC. We've got the date over there. Over here it's Friday, over here it's Thursday. So hi to my friends in Australia in the future there. But let's dive into this. So we can click the menu button here on the remote and we bring up this, this uh, all these layers up here, all these, all these tabs up here do different things. So let's look at layers real quick. So we've got night opacity so we can control how, uh, how dark this gray line is here. So now I'll back up. You can see it's a lot darker now. I like to keep it a little lighter personally, but everything is customizable. We'll put that back to 50, okay? Human lights. So if we crank this up, we can see all of the lights in all the cities. So like, you know, where the big populations are here over in uh, wherever the heck this is, lots of light going on over there. So that's really cool. You can adjust everything. Into shipping, they got shipping lanes. Let's turn that up. See all these shipping lanes come up? Crazy, right? One of the cool things that I like is air traffic, which I actually have turned on. And you can see currently displaying 29 of 1300 flights right now, the air, Royal Air Maroke, whatever that is. And you can see there's actually planes right over here flying around. So you can see, and especially like when Southwest Airlines or United, I mean, the whole United States is just covered in planes. It's really cool to see that. You wanna see how bad we're destroying our planet with air pollution? Look at that. <laughs> Crazy. Population density, we can turn this up. So you can see here, look at the East Coast. Everyone lives out there and then California, uh, let's see, all over here in Europe, Africa, Japan, it's crazy. So you can see all these different things. Over here on this live tab, we've got all kinds of things. COVID-19 cases, so we can click on this, turn that on, 
and we'll see <laughs> all the COVID-19 cases that are uh, logged. Here we have the weather. Let's turn that off and on. I have the weather. So here you can see it's very, very clean on the screen right now. When we turn the weather on and I have this set, you can see we've got some clouds and stuff going on. I, I have it uh, a little more opaque. I just want to see the wisps of the clouds, but that's how I have the weather set. Hubble Space Telescope on or off. Where did it go? It's around here somewhere. This is the ISS right here. There's lots of satellites you can have turn on. I'm not sure where the Hubble uh, went, but it's around here somewhere. Live commercial flights continents, live commercial flights airlines. Moon phase. Interested in undersea cables? Well, we can turn those on too. And we can, we can hit these gears to adjust everything. So the opacity of the undersea cables is quite light right now, but we can adjust that. Let's crank those up. And now look at all of these undersea cables going around. It's just, there's, there's so much all over. Look at, it's just crazy. There's so much information on this thing. These premium layers we'll get back to in a second. Internet here, this is where you're gonna find your internet connection and connect that up so it can sync and, and do all the updates and everything and pull to all this real-time information. Here you can set the time by what zone you're in. Uh, here's some system information. Uh, you can set it auto maintenance. That's if there's any updates, it'll just automatically do it. Unlimited layer downloads, advanced time options. You can show the seconds, show UTC 24 hour scale, UTC 12 hour, uh, all kinds of stuff here. And then there's a little help tab uh, that if you need help with that. So let's go back to these premium layers. Now, all of these by default, you can get for free for like five days as a trial. So the earthquake layer will show you any active earthquakes all over the world. And it's crazy when you have that on, you'll, you'll see stuff that you in places you wouldn't even think would have earthquakes. When I had it on, there were some um, in the middle of the state, actually some here in Texas. And what those actually are is a lot of fracking. So that's pretty interesting to see. The premium atmospheric label layer, uh, this shows you weather generated by fossil fuels or forest fires. Uh, I believe it also shows you volcanoes and stuff. One of these does, somewhere you can see volcanoes. So these are all very inexpensive. I think they're like three to $5. Yeah, here we are, $4.99 per month or $30 per year to have the atmospheric layers. Let's see what the earthquake is, $19.99 or $3.99. Uh, per month. So all of this is really inexpensive for the premium layers, but let's get to what I really care about, which is this ham radio bundle. This is amazing. So let's get in here. You can actually set this up to uh, somehow show your QRZ logbooks. Uh, I'm not sure if it'll just show everywhere you've worked. I don't have that function enabled. I'm not really interested in that. So let's take a look at DX spotting. Now I'm going to turn this on. Watch what happens. So now we've got we can see these lines. These are everyone that's spotted on the cluster. And let's dive a little bit deeper in this because we can go into the settings. Every time we hit that gear, we can go into more uh, detail. So spot types, DS cluster, reverse beacon network. Here we can show call signs. You need to hit the submit to retrieve updated data. And then as soon as it refreshes, we'll see the call signs there. I don't know how well they're showing up, but you can see here's AA0AW going all the way over there. So all the call signs of who's working who, PU2, TWZ, PY2, TTN. So you can see like who's working who all over the world. It's really cool. You can filter all your different bands if you wanna turn them off or on, whatever you wanna do. It's crazy. You can put in call sign filters, uh, ADIF, country ID. It's, it's just crazy. That's just one thing. Here's another cool thing. Custom call sign. You wanna put your call sign on the screen? Look at that. K and MRD. And you can customize it to basically be whatever you want. So you again, click on the gear and you type your call sign in right there. You can do the call sign text size. I keep mine at four, but if you wanna make it bigger, whatever. If you wanna change the color, you can go wherever the heck you want. Maybe you want over in the fuchsia range somewhere or green or blue or whatever. Maximum usable frequency, let's turn that on. Here we can see all kinds of layers and then this is gonna show us basically the frequency uh, that is the maximum usable frequency around here. So very, very cool. Again, totally customizable. If we click on the gear, we can do the maximum usable frequency background opacity. We can crank that up and here we can see like really what's going on. 
uh, with the atmosphere there. And then the line opacity, which are just these lines. So maybe you don't want to see them too much. Maybe you do. Customize everything. You satellite guys are going to love this. You want to see your AMSATs? Turn that on. Let's go to the gears and let's see. You want your FM satellites. You want your linear satellites. Uh, this trail length is how long the actual trail is here. I'll show you in a second. Click on the gear. We can show all, we can hide all. So here's your FM satellites. Let's go to linear satellites. Let's turn those on. Now we got a bunch of satellites up there. And you can choose which ones you want to see. Let's make this, this uh, trail length a little bit longer. So you can see like where they are. So here's a satellite right here. Here's another one there. They're all over the place. There's another one there everywhere. So we've got FM linear satellites. You know where they are in the sky. It's crazy. Here we've got our maidenhead grid. So that's basically, I don't know how well it's going to show up. Oh, yeah, there we are. So you can see all the grid on there. So like I'm an echo mic, here's echo mic. So that's pretty neat. You can just very easily at a glance look at it because of the 4K resolution. It's super crisp. Uh, again, we can click on the gear. You want it bright, you want it dim. Might take a second, there we are. So now all of those are uh, dimmer. And here's, here's probably one of my favorite things, the solar terrestrial weather. Let's turn this on. Let's go over to the gears. So we can have solar image, solar system, Aurora forecast, I've got all those on. So now we get, here's the solar system, all right, where all the planets are. The other day, all the planets, like five or six planets were aligned. It was really neat to see just on here where they all are. Here's your solar terrestrial data with your band conditions and everything. And then over here is your Aurora stuff. So all that great information for ham radio operators, right at a glance on the screen, beautiful 4K resolution. This thing's awesome. Let's go back to this live pin really quick. I want to show you something here. If we go to satellites and turn those on, let's go into the gear here. Look at all of these different satellites you can track, okay? Now, one thing I want to show you that I think is really neat, if we look at SpaceX, we're going to turn all these on and I'll show you how many of these satellites are up in the sky right now. Just blows the screen away. These are all SpaceX satellites polluting our night sky. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is. <laughs> uh, that's, that's absolutely crazy. So we don't usually leave that on. But here, so let's say last 30 days launches. Let's take a look at all of those. There's some Starlink satellites. There's all kinds of satellites. These are just the satellites that were launched in the last 30 days. So that's cool to look at. There's just so much space information here. Let's go back and let's show the top brightest satellites. Look at all those. Every single one of these is a satellite that's up in the sky right now. There's just so many of them. It's ridiculous. And let's click on the NOAA satellites. Let's see what's up there in the sky. So there's NOAA 8, NOAA 6, NOAA 19, NOAA 18, NOAA 2. Just all those weather satellites up in the sky. It's really, really cool to look at. Let's go down to commercial flights here real quick. I have it rotating, so you can pick uh, every 30 seconds. I think I have uh, every minute it rotates what airline. So it cycles through all the airlines in the world, which I think is just really neat to look at. Or if you just want to pick one individual airline, you can pick whatever you want and just constantly track that. I think that's really neat. And right now we have all of three airlines from Cobb Ham going up. <laughs> like there's some obscure ones out there. It's crazy. So that's pretty neat. Like just everything you could ever possibly dream of is on this thing. This is way more than just looking at a clock on the wall or a geochron on the wall. This is interactive. It's real time. It's, it's updated through the internet. You've got weather, solar, terrestrial, satellite, ham, earthquakes, volcanoes, COVID, everything is on this. It's absolutely amazing. And their team is always working on updating things and adding features and stuff. So. It's just very, very cool. I'm really, really impressed with this thing. Guys, how freaking cool is that thing? All the features, the ham radio bundle, the earthquake bundle, all those things are so awesome. 
I love being able to see like where the sun is and you see the gray line and the propagation. You can see the DX cluster and where everyone's getting out to. Just so many great features. I like having the airplanes on. Like I just think that's neat. Like so many things that you wouldn't get in a regular Geochron or just the cheap like Raspberry Pi version of it. This is fantastic. The subscriptions are very inexpensive. Uh, I didn't even check the ham radio, the ham radio bundle, but I think it's I don't know, three, four bucks a month, I'll put it right here with the ham radio bundle cost, but uh, it's not expensive to have all of these extra features included. It is made for 4K to get that great resolution out of it, so it's just absolutely fantastic. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I will leave a link to Gigaparts where you can grab one. Again, special thanks to Patrick at Geocron for sending this to me so we could take a look at it. Guys, thank you so much for watching another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at K8MRD. Until next time, we'll see you again on another episode of K8MRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.